This browser can answer your emails, organize your calendar, do your shopping, automate repetitive tasks, and even help you start a new business. Last month, the CEO of Perplexity gave me early access and I've been testing it ever since. So here are the most impressive things that Comet can do. So the main thing about Comet is this assistant right here. You can open it either by clicking the assistant button in the top right or by the keyboard shortcut option A. And this opens the assistant that can interact with any website that you're on. The first thing I want to show you is how it can manage your browser tabs. So I can say, open the last 15 browser tabs from my search history. So maybe you wanna resume your work and you wanna quickly open what you were just working on. It can do that autonomously. See, my hands are not touching the keyboard and it's opening the tabs for me which is pretty insane. Now, even more OP than opening tabs is organizing and closing tabs, right? So let's say you wanna do some productive work and you have a bunch of Twitter tabs opened. You can just say, close all of my Twitter tabs. And let's be honest, all of us have this problem of having too many browser tabs open and boom, just like that, all of them were closed. But if you think this is impressive, you have no idea what's coming. Because if you're still not using an AI browser, you're gonna fall behind. Now, Comet can do even more advanced actions like this. For example, on Shopify, it can help you set up a Shopify store so you can start your own e-commerce business. You can literally start a side hustle with the help of Comet. It can help you fill it out, pick a store design, help you fill out the copywriting, the products, the layout. Guys, this is insane. Like, the, your imagination is really the limit. And what's really crazy is that this is the worst it will be. These AI browsers are only gonna get better. Imagine how bad ChatGPT was when it came out, right? How much better it is now. The same is gonna happen to AI browsers. In six months, in 12 months, they'll be infinitely better than they are now. That's why you have to start using them today. Another powerful feature within Comet is the voice mode. So let's open a new assistant window here. And by clicking on this blue button in the bottom right, you can enable voice mode. Hey Comet, what can you see? I can see the content of the web page you're currently on. Right now you're on a page about Comet browser. Okay, what about now? What website am I on? What am I looking at? You're on a GitHub page for a project called Claude Code by Anthropic. So obviously there is infinite ways you can use the voice, right? It can help you set up new GitHub repositories, basically working as your real-time assistant, right? It can see what you see, it can do web search, it can tell you what you should do. If you encounter an error, it will see that error as well. It is very, very OP. Another very useful thing that Comet can do is help you plan your trips. So for example, I'm going to New York in the next few days, which by the way, if you're from New York, message me on Instagram, and we can make something happen. But you can say, find the best flights from New York City to Prague in the next seven days, and Comet can absolutely do that. So it will search it up, boom, skyscan and Google Flights, and it found several flights in this price range that are either direct or with one stop. Now in the bottom right, you might notice another button, and this is the screenshot button, which comes in super handy for translation, for example. So here I wanna set up the Quen Free API key, and you know, this is Chinese because it's Alibaba. So I'm just gonna take a screenshot and I'm gonna screenshot the first few steps. And I'm gonna say, translate to English. Boom, it will read the attached file and it will give me the steps in English, how to set up Quen Free Coder. Pretty, pretty impressive. Another interesting thing you can do with the screenshot is basically play GeoGuessr. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of here. Let's see if it recognizes where I'm at. I'll say, where is this located? Okay, so obviously this is the Statue of Liberty, but I wasn't showing it, but it recognized it. This view is from the waterfront near the Statue of Liberty. That's pretty impressive because I wasn't showing the statue itself. I was just showing some water and a pier. The screenshot functionality can also help you understand complex diagrams, right? So I can say, what am I looking at here? Help me understand. You're looking at a technology architecture of infrastructure diagram for customer service management system. Another use case for this is finding a specific product, right? Maybe you like some shoes and you wanna find specifically where they sell them. Obviously here the link is, but let's say you're on a website where there, there's no link. Help me find where to buy these shoes. Especially for women, this will be a very OP use case. Wait, can it draw? Okay, so guys, this is insane. I was just randomly testing TL Draw and I told Comet to draw a circle. It generated an image, okay? I was like, okay, that's pretty good, but not that impressive. And I said, put it into TL Draw. It ran into error because of diff different file type, but then it switched it up and it did the URL and now it's inside of a TL Draw. That's insane. Let me show you another one. Now add a blue rectangle. Okay, so let's see if we can add a blue rectangle, there it is. It's generating the image. Okay, here we have it. So now it's taking control. When you see this blue outline, it's taking control over the browser and it can do stuff for me. It can click buttons. So see now file tab not allowed. So it will choose a different way to upload it. Maybe with the URL. Boom, and there it is. It just uploaded the blue rectangle into my canvas. Guys, we really are living in the future. Now, 
Ironically, since Comet is an AI agent, it can also improve the prompts that you send into AI. So I can say, make sure to rewrite this prompt like a senior professional prompt engineer would so that it actually helps me build an AI SaaS app. Boom. And now I'm having AI improve my prompts for AI. Okay, so it wrote the prompt and I'll say, good. Now, please change it in the text input field. You know, I don't want it to just write the prompt. I want it to actually go take control of my browser. There it is. And rewrite it, you know? So I can see the text input field. Okay, so first I need to, there it is. It just replaced it. Now, a great feature within Perplexity is the keyboard shortcuts. So if you're using Comet, you need to start using these as well. You can create custom shortcuts for basically anything, right? So there are a few shortcuts built in, right? Such as Sonar, GPT-5, Teach Me Comet. But there are two new shortcuts I added myself that you should absolutely steal. First one is slash WS, and this is browse the web, answer in short. Something I find myself repeating many, many times per day. It just appends it after every single prompt, right? Then slash rate. This one is more advanced and it basically finds the exact currency rate up to six digits for any currencies, conversion rates. Then it uses code. So it writes custom Python to perform the math for that conversion because you don't want to do math in the LLMs, right? They predict the next token. It's very unreliable. Instead, you want the LLMs to write a piece of code that does the math. Another use case is filling out Google Forms or surveys. So for example, let's say you're applying to jobs, right? And you fill out 30 questions. So instead of doing that manually, you just speak to it for 20, 30 seconds, give it the most essential info about yourself, maybe upload your CV, and actually Comet will fill out the Google form for you. Now, since Comet is developed by Perplexity, it can very easily automate your search. It can do deep research for you. It can summarize your Twitter notifications, look up recent updates of software that you're using, any type of browser search that you might need to do manually. Comet can do that for you automatically. You can also use Comet while watching YouTube. Explain stuff, you know, ask questions during the video. It's a really great way to learn things much faster than you would otherwise. Now, since Comet can easily use Google Maps, it can also help you find new leads, right? So maybe you want HVAC businesses in a certain area. Whatever business you have, it can go onto the web and find new leads for your business and help you start drafting cold emails to reach them out. I mean, again, imagination is really the only bottleneck here. Now, inside of the email is where things get super interesting. Comet can help you find unimportant answered emails. It can give you a summary of all the emails from the last 48 hours. It can help you write responses to those emails. It can look for attachments that you might have missed. Stuff that, again, you can do manually, but it will take a few minutes. Instead, it's just one sentence to Comet and it can do that for you. And it gets even better when we go to Google Calendar, where it can help you prepare for meetings, give you a summary of all upcoming events, move stuff around. I mean, guys, this is really automating a lot of the boring parts of knowledge work. It's not automating jobs. It's automating the repetitive, boring parts of jobs so that you can do the high leverage creative stuff. Boom. So here I said, help me prepare for the meetings in my next 48 hours. It finds the meetings, finds the Google calls for those events, and it starts helping me prepare. So here I told it to create a new Google doc. Boom, opens a new tab new Google Doc right away, and it helps me start preparing for a specific event, right? So I asked it about the ads and solving call because believe it or not, my YouTube channel is still not monetized. If somebody is watching this from Google, please put me in touch, somebody high up because I'm losing thousands of dollars a month. So if you know someone high up on the YouTube team or the AdSense team, please put me in contact. But let's see if Comet can help me out, prepare for this meeting I have about AdSense. And again, it can interact with the UI. So it can do anything you yourself can do, you know, click stuff, go into settings, create docs, open new tabs, write stuff in the doc, extract action items, give you summaries of Google Docs. Yeah, it can do a lot. And anytime you don't like what it's doing, you can just interrupt it and tell it what to change so that you can point it on the right track. Now, to be honest, there are dozens of other things Comet can do, such as shopping, right? It can find the right things, find promo codes and coupons. It can help you plan trips. So maybe you're on a road trip and what's the fastest way from getting from New York to Philadelphia and you want to stop at three different McDonald's, whatever. It can help you plan that trip. It can check people's early life on Wikipedia if you want to know more about a person. It can also help you respond to your Tinder matches and help you step up your dating game. It can also QA test your entire website. So if you're a web developer, you know, if you're building your own startup like myself, you want to make sure all the buttons work, the UI works that you know it's easy to navigate you can use comet as a qa tester instead of paying a full-time person to do that with spreadsheets that's another great thing it can do 
Excel formulas, Google Sheets formulas, help you organize your spreadsheets, help you fill out the data, lots of useful spreadsheet actions. And then it can also help you find clips. Maybe you see a clip on Twitter and you want to find a full podcast. It can help you do that. Anything that you yourself can do in the browser, Comet can help you do. So this is what I mean when I say that AI browsers are the future because all software verticals will be disrupted with AI first alternatives. The same goes for productivity and task management, which is what I'm building with Vectal. You can use boring, outdated tools like Todoist, ClickUp, Notion. They're, they're fine. They're okay. But why would you do that when you can use Vectal? Plus, you can move your entire team over to Vectal, give custom prompts to every single team member so that all of the AI agents, no matter which model they're using, know what each person on the team is doing. Plus, if you have Vectal Pro, you get unlimited access to GPT-5. That's right. Everyone who gets Vectal Pro gets unlimited GPT-5. Plus, you get access to all the other features, such as idea inbox, tasks, notes, calendar, and the newly launched workflows. So, if you're someone who likes to be hyper-productive, and if you want to instantly boost the productivity of everyone on your team, go to Vectal.ai and give it a shot. If you just sit down for 10 minutes and actually move your tasks over to Vectal, I promise you won't look back. With that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I wish you a wonderful, productive week. See ya!